Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time I did kind of a bonus episode, and if you didn't watch that episode, uh, I only would if you like pain and suffering and failing at minigames over and over again. I didn't plan on making a bonus episode originally, but it kind of turned into one because I failed so hard at the minigames and they were a lot more difficult than I originally anticipated. Anyways, this time we're finally going to go and see what Luca's show or invention or whatever the hell we're about to go find out. I almost forgot what the hell we were doing because of those minigames. It took up so much of my time. But if you didn't happen to watch the bonus episode, I grinded up some silver points to do those minigames, which made Chrono and Marl go up a level or two levels. So now they're level three. And one thing, oh, before I forget, I did not do this yet. I gotta get that little girl's cat. You guys said I could get her if I just press A. So if I just press A. Ah. So the, I get it. Okay. So you just press A. If you run at the kitty, it gets scared and runs away. Don't scare the kitty. Get the kitty to follow you. See, I knew I knew you could do this. I remember doing this. I really do. I just didn't remember how to do it. Anyways. Little girl, we found your kitty. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, wait, no, I brought it back. Thank you. Okay, cool. You're so sweet, Chrono. Wait, that's it? That's it? Th that's it? We just get a you're so sweet, Chrono? That's it? Not even like a good job makeout session? Come on, man. Fine. Whatever. Also, if you didn't happen to watch the bonus episode, I mentioned that I'm not going to be in town for the next few days. And that is true. My brother's wedding is on Saturday. And today is Friday. This is not Friday that I'm recording this, but this is posted on Friday, so you're watching it on Friday. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to post anything over the weekend, so I don't know if that's a big deal. But you're going to have two Chrono episodes now to watch. That's fantastic. And also, you could watch my teaser for the next Let's Play I'm going to do. Hold on. Hold your horses. I want to get some candy. Okay, well, I want some goddamn candy. If you're going to buy some candy, you better buy me some too, you bitch. Give me just a second. Are we seriously supposed to wait for you or what? God, women always want you to be patient. I want the orange one. Give me the orange one. I want the orange one. Hi, I'd like some of this. Sure, young lady. Have some candy. Thanks for waiting. That's all I had to do is just wait for candy? Hmm. Mm, yes. No, I don't know the lady's gossip. Tell me your gossip. God damn, I keep clicking yes. I want to say no. Just between us, I heard that the king is... Oh, yeah. We already heard this. This is not new news. Your news is old. Sorry. But yeah, like I said, uh, go watch my teaser for my next Let's Play that I'm going to be posting. It's replacing my Kirby Let's Play that I finished last week. And I hope you enjoy the trailer because it was fun to make and it was a good little teaser. Even though it's completely obvious what the game is, check it out if you want to know what it is. It'll only take up three minutes of your time. And you should do what I say because, you know, that's why you watch me. Do what I say because I said so. Step on up. Any of you who have the time and the courage, our Super Dimension Warp is the invention of the century. Oh, God. Where have I seen this before? To use it, jump up here. And you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I don't know if I want to make a fly reference or a... Uh, Family Matters reference? Something like that? Luca's inventions never work right. Well then, why the f*** do you come to watch? Just to see him fail? Check out that girl's glasses. Yeah, they're sexy. What do you want to do? What, what, what? She could probably see the backside of the moon without- Oh, what a- Wow. Some people are just racist. Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. Oh wait, that's my bad. Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. I gave him that voice. I better stick with it. I don't know. I'm not going to do voices, so here we go. Where have you been? No one wants to try the... I'll try it. Nah, I'm good. It looks like fun. I'll watch you while you try it out. Bitch, you better go with me. You make me try by myself. If you... It could be our first date, our first teleportation. Just hop on the left pod and you'll end up in the right pod. Is that right? Something seems a little fishy about that, Luca. I don't know if I believe... And it won't, oh, I was going to say it won't let me leave. Oh, okay, cool. I could walk away. I could just say, F this. I'm not doing this. Marl, you're going with me if I do it. Oh, yeah, you damn right you want to try to. You better go with us. How did you pick up a cutie like her? Because I'm sexy and I know it. I'll be right here. Uh-huh. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as, the vision of, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. 
And I already forgot the voice I was doing for him. I'll be right back. You're sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. Yeah, I'll switch back to the voice I was using. <laughs> Throw the switch. Uh-oh. Nothing could possibly go wrong here. Oh, let's all hope that she reappears. All systems on. And begin the energy transfer. Blast off! What could possibly go wrong? Oh, God. Why is her pendant all shiny? Hmm. There, might, there must be a fly in the machine. Oh, no! Huh? Ooh. Oh god, here we go. Machine's not working right. Big surprise. What the fuck? Holy crap, it's a black hoe! Well, it's blue, but it's still, it's like a black hoe. Is she getting sucked inside of it? What's happening? It's the void! X-Death! He's coming! X-Death! Sorry. Sorry. Oh man, she just got fucking sucked into the black hoe. Come back! I'll never get the chance to make out with her! <sighs> Where'd she go? Nobody knows. <laughs> like, yeah, just move along here, folks. Move along. Nothing to see here. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? Hmm. Luca, what did you do? She couldn't have been the telepod. Oh, blame, blame something else, not your telepod, for your problems. Pendant. Oh, blame the pendant. Is this? It's that little piece of pendant's fault. I know I've seen her somewhere. Hmm, yes. And where, where, where might that be, Miss Luca? Okay, let's just repeat yourself. Hey, 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 I didn't want to talk to you again, bitch. Mm -mm. What are we going to do now? Well, I'm going to go grab this pendant and then go sell it to that dude for some money. Wait, what's happening? Chrono, you're actually going to do it? What a fine... I didn't say anything, man. What the fuck? I didn't say I wanted to go anywhere. I just tried... <sighs> So the pendant is the key. Brace yourself. So this is where the game becomes time travel -y. I know I probably said that in the first episode, and I know the people who played this game before are all like, yeah, I love the time travel. Well, not a big spoiler, because we're only in the third real episode here, and we're going to start time traveling already. And I know I'm kind of spoiling, spoiling it by saying that this is a time travel instead of just a teleporter, but... I already, like I said, I already pretty much gave that away in the first episode, so saying it again now is not really a big deal. Anyway, so Luca is all good with it. She doesn't know it's a time travel thing yet. She's just like, yep, yeah, go ahead, teleport away, mm-hmm, have fun. Yeah, as soon as she falls, figures out what went wrong, she's going to follow us. Yeah, good luck with that. That's what Urkel said. And you know what came of that? Stefan Arkell, yeah. We all remember that shit. And now I'm just going to have a little bit of mushroom fucking trip balls real quick and I'll be right back okay so we're back from our mushroom balls trip and uh where the fuck are we looks like the middle of a forest looks pretty are we in the dark world like you know like legend ah, ah, ah what is going on I'm surrounded by 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 blue imps apparently but I was gonna say they look like you know what they look like they look like, oh, what are they called? Oh, shit. Did I just get a game over? Are you kidding me? Because Chrono had one HP. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know. Are you kidding me? That just happened. Mother f... Hold on. Wow, I cannot, I cannot believe I let that happen. We're not letting that shit happen again. This time we got full HP. But in the ten minutes it took me to get back here, I remembered what these guys look like. They look like the little bastards from Dragon Ball Z. The Namek people. The ones that, like, you know, what Piccolo is from. Those people. The Namekians, or whatever the hell they're called. They're they're green in Dragon Ball Z, but... These guys look identical, they're just blue. I wouldn't be surprised if the guys over there at Square kind of base that they're, these guys' design off of those. But anyways, this is our first, like, real battle in the whole game. And I can't believe I died on the first freaking one. How noob shit was that? Like, how much more noob can you get dying on the very first real battle of the entire game? What the hell was that shit? What the hell is that? There's a weird... Oh, God. That's right. Okay. It's all coming back to me, the little things I do remember about this game. Enemies, you can see them on the map, and that's how you run into them. Oh, what the hell? There's birds! And the birds are dropping imps everywhere! Now, as for how I'm gonna do battles in this game... You know, me and my RPGs, I like to cut out battles when they get ridiculous. 
But it seems like in this game, besides the fact that they're, they might be kind of fast paced, they're the way it's set up. It's just not, it's not conducive to cutting things out. Now, is this an open treasure chest or an imp? Like, okay, good. I was seeing it, it looked, it looks like an empty treasure chest, but then when you touch it, it looks a little bit different. Doesn't it look like it's the treasure chest missing the top? Stupid. It shows some terrible sprite, sprite colorings on this game. Like seriously. While it looks kind of cool, it's not cool that I can't tell there, when there's a goddamn treasure chest there at all. That's irritating. I think I'm going to go with the power glove. Because it's so bad. Aw, oh, yeah. I can sacrifice speed for power. Bitches love that shit. I think I'm going to dominate like all these battles too because of my awesome level 3-ness that I already explained to you I did from fighting the Gato robot a few times to get some silver points. I don't know. Should I have done that? Eh, I'm not, I'm not going to question whether or not I should be level 3. It's not like I super grinded or anything. I freaking fought a robot and got to level 3. I didn't like grind a level 10 just to fight the first area people. No, no, no. We're only level 3, so I'm not going to like question did I over level too much. It's not even possible. Level 3. Seriously? Yeah, we're getting way more experience and stuff from this area than I did from fighting the robot like six times, so I'm not even gonna trip. Way more experience and shit. Way more. Now, by the way, in new areas like this, make sure that you tell me treasures I may have missed that are worth going back to get. Anyways, first thing you'll notice is the map is covered in fog, and there's a question mark down in the bottom left corner. Strange. We must be in a different time period. Let's check out the town. The Truce Inn. Wait, the Truce Inn? Is this the same place? Like, the same world? Are we in the same world? I thought we were in a different time period. The Magus' army destroyed Zenon Bridge, so the South Continent is in it. Wait, the Magus army? But I thought we def I thought there was like a Magus war and the Magus got defeated. Uh-oh. Did we go back in time or did we go forward in time? Queen Lean? <laughs> Couldn't you have come up with something that doesn't rhyme? Ah, Queen Lean. It's better than Queen Fat, like Queen Brownie from Final Fantasy IX. The king freaked out when the queen took off. We all thought Magus had grabbed her. Thank goodness she's safe. Well, yeah, me too. Now, can I talk to the bartender? Because that's all I've been trying to do this whole time. Talk to the fucking bartender. Nope, I guess not. Who's this guy? I just watched him walk in the door. Are you a stranger here too? I'm Toma the Explorer. If you're buying, I'll tell you a story. Sure. What you got to say, sir? I'll buy you a cider. Now, what's about the missing queen? She disappeared while visiting the cathedral to the west, and... Beg your pardon? What? They found her. Never mind. What? Oh. Okay. What is... What? Fishy about the cathedral. Well, I guess if we find the cathedral, we'll have to keep in mind there's something fishy about it. And we're definitely in a different time period. They don't even know what the Millennial Fair is. Are you stupid? This is the Kingdom of Guardia. We're battling Magus' army. You did know that, right? No. What the fuck? We need more ignorant strangers around here. Oh, God. Fuck you too, buddy. Hey, I'm just a kid, okay? Don't expect everyone who comes across you to know what the hell they're doing. Um, I don't need to stay here. I'm good. I'm good. Keep an eye out for blending is blending in ass treasure chests. This one definitely doesn't blend in. But I can't open the mystical treasure chests quite yet. I don't know when we're going to be able to open those bitches. But like I said, it's probably an end game thing, or like halfway through the game thing. Let's see, we can go in that house. Okay, wait, I can kind of see the different color red. You can go in the different color red houses. So we got like a blacksmith over here. What's up, dog? I'm Banta the blacksmith. I'm forging a bell for the king to represent the. Wait, he's forging a bell? Don't tell me it's the same bell from Lean Square in the in the thousand year or whatever A.D. or whatever it is. Huh? It looks like that bell, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It looks like that bell. Huh. My husband wants a daughter who is as intelligent as she is beautiful. You look like his daughter. Look how young that, that sprite of that look girl looks. Looks like it could be his daughter. Whatever. Alright, let's check out what we got at the residence. The residence. What up, resident? Millennial Fair here. What are you talking about? It's the year 600 and the 21st King of Guardian. Whoa. So we've gone back 400 years. It's a long time. When will the war end? Um, I don't remember which year. Did they say what year the war ended? In the in like when I talked to people earlier, I don't remember. This guy looks familiar. He looks like the guy from 
from that was buying stuff at the carnival. Remember to equip yourself with weapons. Yeah. Yeah. I guess this is advice for dumbasses. Don't buy equipment and then don't equip it, genius. Although that is a cardinal sin of RPGs. Buying that shit and then not equipping it. I've done that so many times when I played these games. It is ridiculous. Uh, I think I already have all this stuff. I don't have a dart gun, but I don't have anybody who can equip the dart gun. So what's the point? Who the hell uses guns? Who fights with a gun? That's noob shit. And Call of Duty ass, Halo ass, noobs. And just out was the market. What else we got around here? We got the we got the forest. Huh. This looks like the cathedral over here. Yep. Let's go inside and see what's happening. Let's see what's cracking. I was about to say, is there ghosts in this bitch? Nah, they're just nuns. What's up, nuns? Nuns want world. Want, want world? They want world peace is what I was trying to say. The organ recital. It's a real killer. Huh. Suspicious? People wouldn't want know what to do with themselves in the... My, what delicious... Er, what? Del... Okay. I have now officially concluded this is a vampire-infested cathedral. Uh, I was fully expecting, like, fucking, like, a Satan picture up there. But no, it's fucking Jesus with a... Or an angel or something with light shining down upon them. Oh dear, it looks like you can use some food. And a place to rest! Oh god, um, um, I'm gonna get the fuck out of this vampire cathedral now before they fucking suck my blood and I get a game over again. We don't need two game overs in the same game, or same episode. Now this is the bridge that they were talking about being broken or burned down by the mages. Now is mages a person? It must be a person. I was thinking mages was like a group, you know, like run away from the mages. Like a mages is a group. But it looks like mages is a person because they're referring to it as mages' army. Whatever. Point is, can't cross the bridge. So it looks like our only option is to head into the Guardia Forest. I guess I should just call it Guardia. I'm calling it Guardia, but it's clearly Guardia. And wait, did our did, our, did the little time in the corner get updated now that we know what year it is? Awesome. That's cool. It didn't just keep saying question mark. Now that we actually in got info from people, it tells us what time it is. So let's check out what's going going on in the forest. Let's look for treasures. Ah! And scary looking cuckoo birds. Blue eaglets. 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 Why does eaglets sound like a name of something that I know? I should try out some tax, man. What am I just... I'm just... I'm just wasting away with my regular tax. Probably because techs actually use up MP, and I don't want to use my MP up against blue eaglets. And I think Cyclone, the only tech I have, is a and one where you should use it when the enemies are like surrounding you. So when they're far away, it's probably useless to use. Man, I'm tempted to just stick around the forest for a little while and fight. Let's make sure we explore thoroughly, though. We don't want to. Oh man, what do we got in the bushes? Oh god, peeping tom? No, blue. I mean, green imps. Who roll around on the roller balls. Rolly Rider. You know what I think about your Rolly Rider, bitch? No, I should probably not waste that. They're not near each other. If they were near each other, I would hella cyclone them. Yeah, I think my level 3 is a little bit overleveled. I mean, I'm not saying it's like cheap. These are just random battles. I'd rather random battles go fast than take forever. But, yeah. It's all good, baby. It's all good. It'll all work itself out. Let's let's go ahead and just fight everything we see. Wait, the monster dropped a shelter, but that was one of those douchebag bitches I had to fight or not fight, but like that mini game I kept failing at in the bonus episode with some of those guys. I wonder if we're gonna have to fight some of those guys. They look like little yetis. By the way, the yeti looking thing is the same little monster that was playing the piano that I, when I explored in the first episode. You remember the one that played the piano and played different cool songs? That was him, the yeti looking bastard. Choppy choppy, you did. Just gotta keep an eye on my HP. We don't need another incident. We're getting lots of tonics for free as well, so I won't have to spend any money on that shit. Gotta make sure I check everything thoroughly though. Whoa. Found a power tab. I saw that shininess on the ground. I was like, wait, what was that? Shininess, try to trick me. Oh, there's another shininess. Oh God, that shininess wasn't as good. All it did was trigger a battle. I think I like how these battles are set up, though. It's like they're triggered by different events in the area. That's actually kind of cool. And something tells me if you leave and come back to the area, these battles will reset. I mean, how else are you supposed to grind? I, 
can't imagine these only being one-time battles. It's just that's all I'm saying about that. We'll learn it the hard way, I'm sure. There'll probably be plenty of backtracking through areas we've already been. I can almost guarantee that. There's no way in hell we'd go through a game with time traveling and not have any backtracking. <sighs> damn it. Stop attacking me, you goddamn roly-poly imp-ass mother effers. I should have cycloned that time. That, that was a perfect setup. Damn it. I just thought about it after I did it, too. I could still cyclone him just to try it out. This battle would have been over already. Oh man, look at Cyclone go. That's badass. Victorious. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And you can kind of tell I'm stalling with this episode because I don't really want to get to the castle in this episode just because I just, well, besides just wanting to fight for money and maybe free items, I just want to explore thoroughly. I don't want to miss anything. Approaching Guardia Castle, no trespassing. Well, I'm not a trespasser, I'm just a time traveler seeking guidance how to get back to the past. Actually, I'm looking for the chick that apparently teleported here as well. Can't forget about her, I mean, that's the whole reason we're here, isn't it? Let's go inside the castle right quick. Halt! Who goes there? It's just me, a humble... <laughs> Check out that hair! Where are you from, son? Aren't you one of Mages' troopers? You think one of Mages' troopers is just going to wander on into the castle all by himself? What do you think I am, a dumbass? <laughs> wow. Show us your stamp collection, son. Fuck off. You want to take me on? Bring it on. Queen Lean! It's me, Jean, Queen Lean! Show your manners. This is a friend of mine. What? But there's something odd about him. She does look familiar. You don't think that this is the same person, do you? How does she know me? That's strange. She does look quite familiar. I can't quite put my finger on it. But will I be able to put my finger on it next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger? Find out then. See you guys on Monday. Peace.